Hey guys, uh, today <clears throat> I'm a little tired. I'm actually on day 14 of no sodas, <clears throat> and my body can tell that I've had no soda, so <laughs> I am without energy. But a friend of mine actually got me um, this ColourPop palette, uh, the Coast to Coral palette. <clears throat> Thank you, Carlisle. Um, and we're going to play with it a little bit today. Um, I've actually already used this once and I really liked it. And I'm just going to try a different look than what I did before. Just to see what else I can do with it. But here's the, uh, the color story for it. They're all really pretty. Some corals and some pinks and some uh, lighter toned browns. <clears throat> Oops, I left my primer open. That's not for you, Trixie. No, ma'am. Okay. And I've already got my face primer on. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I've already got my face primer on and my eye primer on. And the eye primer that I've been using lately that I really like is uh, the NYX Professional uh, HD Studio Photogenic Eyeshadow Base. And I've actually really liked this one here lately. Um, but I'm going to go in and see which brush I'm going to use. I can even see which brush I'm going to use. Um, let's go ahead and go in with this uh, shade here. I believe it is Keep Swimming. And we're going to put this... Like in the crease and a little bit above the crease. Trixie, get down. I know you did not just tell me no. You better lose that attitude. We're just going to take that a little bit above the crease while we're blending it. And I've taken this on a, a Lexi 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we're going to do the same on the other eye. I actually don't think I got as much. I think when I tapped it off, I tapped all of the color off. There we go. What are you doing? Trixie. Yeah, you got in trouble a second ago, didn't you? Looks like I went a little bit higher on the other eye with it. Let me see if I can't. Like, of course, it's not going to look exactly the same, but I want them to look as close as possible. Be sure. Yeah.
Okay. Let me put this where I can maybe see it in a little bit. And then we're going to go in with, um, there's actually quite a bit of kickback over in this Keep Swimming shade. Um, we're going to go in with Actually, no, this one was an anemone. Ha <laughs> ha. I actually looked at it the wrong way when I looked at it from the back. It's opposite on the back. So this is actually anemone. Uh, this one over here was keep swimming. Um, I know we're not supposed to blow on our palettes, but there was kickback everywhere and I couldn't see what I was doing. <laughs> um, we're going to go in with... We'll go in with Angelfish right here with our pencil brush, our eye crease brush by e.l.f. And we're going to go directly into the socket with this one. Like that one's really doing much, does it? No, I guess it did a little bit. Which I'm going to go back in and go to a darker shade, probably. Because that's not quite as dark as I was wanting. But with that other shade there, it may have affected it. I may have, sh may have should have taken that other shade higher and not completely in the crease. So that's my fault. Ain't that right, Trixie? Thought I heard a car. We're still just going right into that socket. Okay. And I'm going to, whoops, take my color swatch here, which this isn't the name brand, but all right, I'm going to go in with that same brush, and I'm going to go in with Queen Island. Queen's Island, I'm sorry. Maybe we can darken that up a little. getting there a little bit. It's taken a lot to go over that anemone shade. But we're getting there. another blending brush and just kind of actually afraid to blend it too much I don't want that 
color to completely disappear after taking so much time to get it on there. Alright, and I'm going to take oops, this Lexi 245 small shader brush. And this is actually a uh, kind of a shimmer shade here, but I'm hoping when I put it on uh, the brush, it'll turn more into a matte formula because that tends to happen with a lot of shimmers if you use a brush. So um, this is actually drop off. That's this corner shade here. And I'm going to use this in the very outer corner. Still not darkening it up as much as I was hoping it would. But it'll do, I suppose. did turn quite a bit matte like I'd hoped but there's still some shimmer there and it also uh, some of the shimmer did kind of drop down on my face a little bit but that's not a problem for me because that's I do my face makeup after my eyes just in case that happens so Okay, and now I'm going to go in with my finger, I think, and use one of these shimmer shades. I've already used a few of these. I don't remember which ones I used. I'm going to go in here with uh, Diver, just with my finger. 
and that is a very pretty shade. And this is actually going to go all over my lid. Do the same with the other side. That's right, Trixie. Yeah. Okay. to blend where there's not like this harsh line between the shimmer and that dark brown. Okay. And I think, let me clean off this blending brush. I think I'm going to go in with a little bit lighter of a shade to buff out that uh, anemone shade. So I think I'm going to go in with crush. Just get a little bit on a blending brush here and just go along the edges. Just to soften that up. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. All right, and then I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of my face makeup, and then we'll come back and do the bottom part of my eyes. So, let's see here. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, I've got my face. Uh, well, I've got my foundation and concealer and a little bit of powder on. Um, and we're going to go back in and do the bottom part of our eyes. I am going to go on ahead and start with, I'm going to go in basically the same order that I went for the top part of my eyes. I'm going to go in with an anemone. <laughs> Minds me on Finding Nemo when he, can't, he couldn't say anemone. I understand why now. But I'm actually going to go in with this Lexi 209 Large Shader Brush. And I'm going to go in real softly. my other eye always looks so much better than this eye. Like, what am I doing so much different? For one thing, this eye has more fine lines, I think. 
That's what I'm going to say the issue is. All right. And I'm going to go in with that uh, which one do I want to go in? It took a while for me to build up these two shades to get them a little bit darker. So I'm just going to go on ahead and go in with this uh, drop off shade. The one I did for the outer corner. I'm not going to use that brush. I'm going to use a different one. Uh, I'll use this Lexi 221 Flat Defining Brush. And I'm just going to go right into the lash line. Then I'm just going to blend those two together. Okay, and just like I did, ah, my brushes are flying away here. And I'm going to go in with this crush shade again. And do the kind of same thing that I did on the top, trying to soften it up some. Just going across the edge here. And now I'm going to move all my brushes out of my way because they're getting on my nerves. I'm going to take this uh, peachy gold shade called, a, I guess, a tall. I guess that's what that is. And I may have to use my finger for this as well. I don't know. But I'm going to go in right here. where I left a small little opening there for kind of a ombre kind of effect, I guess. And that's just right there in that inner V area. Trixie! Somebody's trying to get on Mama's nerves today. All right, and then I'm going to go in the inner corner with that same shade. Like 
so. Alright, I will, see I done lost the clear page here, and I will be right back, I'm going to go do uh, the, my blush and my contour and everything and my brows and my mascara, and then I'll be back with the finished look, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back with the finished look. And I know this lipstick does not go with his eyeshadow look, but I figured I'm not going anywhere today. So the only only people going to see it is you guys. So I figured it's just makeup. It'll be fine. Um, but I actually really like this eyeshadow palette. Um, I also uh, have another one that just came in the mail. It's the, I don't know if I'm saying this right, the Baroque palette uh, from their... Uh, I guess their darker collection. I don't remember what the name of the collection was, but ColourPop is actually dropping a whole lot of stuff right now. Um, but I'm going to do a video with that palette. Um, I guess on my next day off. And I've also got my BoxyCharm that should be here any day. And I may go on ahead and do, uh, I get the Supernatural subscription box from CultureFly, and I may do an opening of that if I can keep myself from opening it before I do the video I can't make any promises but I am going to go on ahead and go and I guess I will see y'all next time um, it'll still be a surprise what video it is because I haven't decided what order I'm going to do everything in but I guess I'll see y'all next time bye <laughs>